How's it going, everybody? Dr. Coin back at it again, and welcome to the Coin Cave. We have mail. We have received a package from the Royal Canadian Mint. I put in an order about a week and a half, two weeks ago, for the new 10 cent special wrap collection from the Canadian Mint, and it has finally arrived. Better late than never, I always say. I am super excited to tear into this. There are two brand new designs that I am looking forward to seeing. One of them is the first ever colored Canadian dime that has been released, so that is going to be awesome. I think they are going to be released for circulation, but we aren't going to make you guys wait. Here at North Central Coins, we're going to bust these special wrap rolls open and take a look today before i can start tearing into this box i would really appreciate if you guys would hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you would like to see more coin collecting videos just like this and then what do you say we tear into this bad boy and see what these new dimes are looking like All right, let's take a look at this box. I really like how they actually put the rolls in this box right here. I've received coins from the mint, all which ways I've received them loose. I've received them in little Ziploc bags, so it's nice that they took a little bit of extra care this time, especially when you're buying special wrapped mint rolls. A lot of the time, they can get damaged on shipment, but let's see how they're looking inside this parchment paper here unwrap this as gingerly as possible don't want to damage any of the contents inside i think we're getting real close now there we go and look at that they come in a little ziploc bag just like some of the other special wrap rolls i've received this actually has what looks like a little sticker on it it says the 2021 special wrap 10 cent collection now there are three different variations that come in this collection. Two are new designs and the third is a double date that has the old Blue Nose Schooner design on it, the original. So crack this bag open, take a little look-see at what these rolls are looking like. So this is the new uncolored design right there. That is awesome. Look at that. It has the double date 1921 to 2021. Turn this over, look at it the right way. $5.10 dimes, got the Royal Canadian Mint logo right on there. Now that is a beauty. Very nice. Let's take a look at some of these other ones here. This is the original Blue Nose Schooner design. It does have a double date, 2021, 1921, sorry, to 2021. It looks like all of these have a slightly different color on the end for the 100 year little marking right there pretty cool this one's dark gray the first one was light gray and the colored one is blue which is in keeping with the color that is on the dime now this thing is beautiful man look at that right there guys the Canadian Mint did a good job on this I have to say as a coin roll hunter it has been extremely boring hunting dimes over the last couple of years, this is exactly what we need to spice it up. I mean, I'm not really going to be looking for them because after I bust these rolls open, I am going to have quite a few extras. I am going to be giving them away, though, on live streams and for some of my future giveaways. So make sure to stay tuned for that. A little bit of damage on the roll right there. I don't know if that's uh, blotchiness from the ink or what. It's a little unfortunate. Good thing I'm busting this roll open. doesn't really matter. Thing of beauty. This one has double enders for the blue nose. No queen on the enders for that. So I think I'm going to bust this one open first. Get a close look at the actual dime outside the roll. I'm going to open it as gingerly as possible. I don't want to do it all savagely like I did those George the Six special wrap rolls. I'm actually going to try and show you guys how to open these without causing any damage because I have had some practice now and I'm a lot better at it. So let's see if I can open these up without ripping them or tearing them. And maybe we can actually save these rolls if we can. I'm probably just going to try and concentrate and I'll speed the video up to show you guys my process here. But what I'm going to do, slowly work my way around and crimp it open and then see if I can just unwrap it without any rips or damage. I think I'm going to need to open it a little bit more on the other side as well. Yeah, you got to open both sides for this to work. A duh. 
because I already ripped it a little bit there in the middle, but that's all right. I'm going to finish opening this side up. And then once I open the other side, it should come right open. So there we go. This side is now completely opened up. Let's do that to the other side, just like that. And then this thing should roll right open. Come on, you. Come on, you bugger. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to keep this on the camera, but I'm also trying to concentrate and not damage the coins or the roll. There we go. We bursted the seal and it is now open. I don't have gloves on, so I do not want to damage these coins as well. I'm going to put them right into a coin tube after this. I'm just going to take one out and take a good look at it. Look at how shiny that is right there. And look at that, guys. The brand new 2021 Blue Nose Schooner Dime. The uncolored variation. If you guys want to let me know if you happen to pick up any of these rolls from the Canadian Mint, or if you're just going to be patient and try and score some of them from coin roll hunting, I just preferred to enter the cheat code in for this one and just buy them directly from the Mint so I could show you guys. Got my tube right there. As soon as I'm done with my little inspection, I'm going to slide them right in. You can see I already got a fingerprint on this one, it looks like. But that's all right. I'm going to be giving these away as gifts and giveaways and prizes for my channel. So a little fingerprint on one ain't going to kill it. But I know what you guys want to see. I know you guys want to get to the, the main event here, this colored variation, which I am very curious to see up close. As soon as I got the notification on my email for these rolls, I had to scoop a couple of them up. I just have to have them. I think it is awesome and definitely historic. The first ever colored dime. I wondered if they would ever make colored nickels or dimes because the cost effectiveness of it. I don't know how much it actually cost them to make, but I'm sure they must have figured out some process to save some money to mass produce these because they definitely don't like to lose out on money when they make products at the Canadian Mint. But I'm just going to do the same thing as that last one. I'm going to try and open it up here, not cause any damage. I got the one side open, no damage there. I especially want to save this roll because this is the colored one. Open her up, try not to ding the coin at all. I'm making sure just to only hit the wrapper there. Don't want to scratch any of that color off. Just about got it. Almost there. I think we got it guys. Oh yeah. Open sesame. And look at that. Brand new roll of these beauties. Oh my lord. Take a look at that. It's amazing what they can do with such a little amount of color. It's very similar to, uh, I would say, the 2015 Canada Flags and Poppies. Just with a little bit of color and shading, you can add so much contrast to a design. You got the queen there looking nice and shiny. But man, that is awesome. The Canadian Mint did a great job on these. It'd be awesome if they would make some colored nickels in the future. I would definitely love to score those. Maybe this is a sign of things to come in the future. But I definitely think this is a step in the right direction. You know, I'm not a huge fan of paying huge premiums on brand new coins. If I ever do, it's going to be on stuff like this or those special wrapped George the Six rolls. The premium on this isn't too, too crazy for me. I mean, it is double face value, but for the sake of being able to show you guys a firsthand look at these, I think it is worth it. Now, this is the third roll. I'm not actually going to open this one up because there's not much sense. The design is pretty much the exact same as most of the dimes before this, so nothing too special. I'm going to keep this in the roll and throw it with some of the other special wrap rolls in my collection. But it is a nice looking roll right there. A little bit of damage right there on the uh, on the end, but that's all good. So I'll throw these into the tube. I made sure to put them in real carefully. Seal that up. Not bad. I'll keep these safe for a rainy day. Now let's throw those uncolored into a roll as well. There we go. That's the one that I was showing you guys. The rest of them I made sure to not even touch. I just shimmied them right into this tube. No damage. I did also happen to save the special wrap 
George the 6 2021 paper as well. I don't know where I put it, but I have it somewhere. So I'll probably throw those in and it'll be my little collection of loose paper special wrap rolls. I think this is an awesome little collection for the price. If you're a new or experienced collector, even if you only pick up one of these, it is a great deal. I bought two of them. That way I would have one set that I could keep intact in the rolls, throw it with the rest of my collection. And I could also have a couple that I could open up and give a demonstration for you guys. I like to be able to get an up close look and hold one of these coins with my fingers. I know a lot of people say you should be wearing gloves, but I don't like to always wear gloves, especially if I'm making a video or I'm just documenting a coin. I want to get up close and personal with these coins and give you guys the best look that I can. You know, sometimes if you look at the pictures from the Royal Canadian Mint, these coins will look kind of photoshopped as well as the true views from PCGS. It doesn't honestly represent the coin a lot of the time. So I want to give you guys an up close look at these coins and you can make up your mind if you like them, if you would like to add them to your collection. This is a set that I definitely suggest you should pick up. If you would like to purchase them, you can get them from the Canadian Mint's website, mint.ca, or I'm sure if you look around, they might be available at your post office or local coin shops. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to let me know what your favorite design was down in the comments, I would appreciate that very much. My favorite design is definitely the colored variation. If I find a few while I'm coin roll hunting, that would be awesome. I don't want to hold on to too many because I'm guessing the minted figures are going to be pretty high since it is the first ever colored dime. But I did say it's a step in the right direction. Hopefully the mint releases some more products like this in the future, some colored nickels, some more colored dimes i'll definitely look forward to that if it is happening but other than that guys thank you so much for watching until the next one everybody peace out and have a good one y'all